This is the GE Free Popcorn Packet to make. I've used it for popcorn, but you could also use this seed packet, which is from a Seeds of Diversity design for any kind of seeds. And I printed it on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of copy paper, yellow for corn. And in order to make a square, I have to just cut off this piece um, on the inside of the dotted line and then I have an eight and a half by eight and a half square. First thing I have to do is fold it on the diagonal with the enjoy some GE free popcorn free on the top. Then I flip it over and there's information on this flap which will be hidden about hidden corn. Every person eats 56 pounds of high fructose corn syrup a year, usually in processed foods. And I bring the flap on the left over and make a straight line across the top. So this is a triangle flap. And at the very bottom you can see there's a logo about saying no to GE foods and information about banning terminator seeds here. Then I fold the right flap over and this is the one that has information about GE free zones and why corn for ethanol biofuel is a bad idea. Now I take the top two flaps, the triangles, and fold them forward, crease them, put them back and the corn will go between the two flaps like this. I just take a handful of corn, put it in, close it up, and this needs to be folded again and inserted inside the front flap to seal it. I get a crease across the top like that. Looks good. And now when you want to open it to pour out the corn, there's some information here. Put your thumb in, pull the flap out to the left like that. Aha! There's some GE Free BC campaign information here. The website www.gefreebc.org and how to contact. Pour out your popcorn on the left like this. Woo! And you can also reclose it by putting the left flap inside and then you can keep this nice information about GE free popcorn.